Welcome to the dressing pan for this Women's Premier League plate second round game between Lewis and Gillingham. As the side from the higher division, you perhaps see Lewis as favourites for this one. The home side will though need to bounce back from a disappointing 4-0 defeat here last time out against Coventry. Gillingham are having no such problems in their league form, having lost just once in eight games so far. But fatigue could be a factor today. This is just one of an additional three cup competitions for the Gills, and they've only won one of their last four away games. They do, however, have two strikers in formidable form. Kayleigh Balfour and Paige Baker Carroll have scored 33 goals between them this season, nearly double what Lewis have collectively, and that could be a decisive factor this afternoon. And at the moment, the first goal could be very crucial in this game. At the moment, it's Gillingham pressing to get it. Keogh forward, decent ball into the middle too. Baker Carroll shoots and finds the bottom corner, and that is the opening goal. And surprise, surprise, it's ba Paige Baker Carroll who scores again. That is her 15th goal in all competitions this season, her 11th goal in cup competitions this season. North to take. Whips it in, it's deep, and it's headed into the back post. And that's the second. And did, did Peru cross the, that free kick? Whipped into the back post. And Gillingham have doubled their lead now. And it's Baker Carroll who gets the goal with the header at the back post. That's Lewis Neal, Gillingham two. It will be Palmer to deliver into the back post. It's the header and it's found its way in. Really, really brave play and Kirsty Spice scores the goal that brings Lewis back into this. It's a decent, brave header from the Lewis striker. She got there, she clashed with the goalkeeper on the way through. The goal's gonna stand. But it did look like it hurt. Kirsty Spice, but she won't mind too much. That's her first goal of the season. But more concern perhaps for Courtney Shanley. So, the corner to come in. Left-footed in, swing up. Hooked away at the near post. Not the best delivery. It'll come all the way out for Locke to retrieve though. To take on Keogh. Ball comes in off the defender's leg. Wells hits it over the top of the goalkeeper and it scrambles over the line. And Natasha Wells brings Lewis level. They were behind 2-0 down in the first half. They're back to 2-2. And John Donahue's team could be going on for a miraculous comeback here for Natasha Wells' goal. The corner came in. It was played back in by Locke. The defensive clearance wasn't good. The finish from Wells was excellent. That makes it now here at the dripping pan. Lewis 2, Gillingham 2. Madison North into Baker Carroll. Comes away though. Tune retrieves it for Gillingham. Gets away from Walder. Few players looking a little leggy now. North deflected. Baker Carroll with the hooked effort into the back of the net. That's her second of the game and Gillingham retake the lead an extra time. And it's a goal from Paige Baker Carroll, her second. It broke kindly in the midfield for Gillingham. It came through. North's ball deflected in. And it fell kindly again. And Baker Carroll with a right-footed hooked effort. Kept it away from Burr. And puts Gillingham back in front. That's Lewis two. Gillingham three now. So it's going to be Danielle Lane. Scored in the last round. Whips one in. Oh, and it's gone all the way through from Lane. She puts it into the back of the net with a bit of a hand from Courtney Shanley in the Gillingham goal. Lewis are back level. The free kick was floated in. Danielle Lane put it across and it went through the goalkeeper's arm. She was under immense pressure in the middle and Lewis find their way back into it. Everyone set in the middle, referee happy. North to the liver, left footed, swings it in. And it's off the head of Reese, the substitute. And Gillingham have scored. They put themselves in front in the second half of extra time. And it's the substitute, Georgia Reese, who heads home. Fantastic bullet header from inside the box. It was a great ball, whipped in. Had the pace, didn't need to do much with the header. Reese just steered it into the top corner. And the substitute scores. So, goal kick for the home side. And if they're going to get anything out of this game, they need to get the ball upfield and create something soon. Four minutes left on the watch. It's a poor clearance, though. Hardacre has it. And she's looped one back up into the air. Half a chance here. Oh, it's spilt by the goalkeeper, surely. Chitty on the line. No, it's scrambled in. And it's Baker Carroll who completes her hat-trick. 
and surely now puts Gillingham into the hat for the next round. It's a disaster from Lewis's point defensively, and they've allowed Gillingham in again, and that has sealed the game. And it's Paige Baker Carroll who completes a hat trick here at the Dripping Pan. It was disastrously defended. It was a poor clearance out from the goalkeeper. Hardacre looped it back into the box. The goalkeeper spilt it again, a second error, and it scrambled through despite Chidi's best efforts. She couldn't prevent Baker Carroll from stabbing it home on the line. And that's it. There's the whistle. A topsy-turvy game is brought to an end here at the Dripping Pan, and it's Gillingham who are going to progress to the next round. They led the way back in the first half 2-0 before Lewis mounted a strong fight back to draw level by the end and force extra time at 2-2. Another goal apiece in the first period made it 3-3 with 15 to go. And in the end, it was Gillingham's day and with help from a Paige Baker-Carroll hat-trick, they win here at the Dripping Pan by five goals to three.